given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Before this video starts, this is what the podium vehicle looks like on the podium. The vehicle that I'm showing you is from a previous podium, uh, when it was on the podium before. So that is why it looks different, I've already modified it a little bit. But yeah, that's that's why it's different colour and stuff. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video we are reviewing and showcasing the current podium vehicle which is the Osiris and if you're wondering this is mainly based off a of Pagani however the front I, if you thought it looked like a Ferrari I could see why you might think that. So for this car it does have pretty good performance speed wise it's pretty good and as you can see handling yep it's got good handling. Uh, as per usual with quite a lot of supercars the only one that we've reviewed that hasn't is the tyrant that kind of sucked and it's the biggest supercar in the game which is kind of just a bad supercar but it kind of does look cool so if you're just for the looks yeah but let's look at what we can do to this car in terms of customizations so for front bumpers we have the primary color rear splitter we also have the secondary colour race splitter and the carbon race splitter alongside that. And we also have the primary colour street splitter, also the secondary colour sp street splitter and the carbon street splitter. A lot of words to say there, but uh, a lot of customizations on the front bumper. However, the rear bumper only has one option, and that is the race rear diffuser. And for the exhaust, we have three options the oval exhaust the race exhaust and the chrome tip exhaust them options are fine by me i like the look of them so for the fenders we have race wing vents as you can see just add some vents onto the front of the vehicle on the fenders for the skirt we have three options we have primary color race skirts we also have secondary color race skirts and also carbon race skirts as well just as usual with most cars, we have those options. Primary, secondary, and carbon in a lot of things. Now for the spoilers, we only have two options, and those are the race wing and also the GT wing. In my opinion, my favourite is the race wing. And that is it for the customization on this vehicle. Uh, I think this customization is okay. You definitely go with a different amount of builds. There's some cre pretty creative builds you can do and uh, cool builds as well. So let's take a look at what doors you can open on this car. Now sadly you can't open the front. However you can open the engine which is in the rear. Now I believe this car is about 1.5 million. Again I'm sorry I haven't checked this. I should have when I was recording this. But um, I would say it's probably worth about that. Would I buy it for 1.5 million is the question. It's something to consider, however, there is definitely better cars. If you're into racing, no, I wouldn't buy it. I don't think anyway. There's probably better options. It is a cool car, and it is one of the older cars, I believe, in the game. So if you want one of them types of cars, it's there for you. Um, is it worth it getting for free? Absolutely. This car is based off a really cool car in real life, a Pagani. Paganis are pretty rare in real life, so... It's nice to be able to have kind of a dream car in this game, which a lot of people probably won't own unless you get really lucky. And even if you're rich, you're probably not going to have one because there's not many of them out there. I believe there's only like 10 of them. It's that, that rare if you didn't already know. But what would I rate this car out of 10? Well, for being free and all that stuff, and even if it wasn't free, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's a good supercar. It's it's really cool, and for an older car, it definitely doesn't disappoint at all. It's it's decent. Again, some people might have different opinions on what I'm saying, but what I've seen from this car, it's pretty decent. I haven't done any races in it, but I would guess it's okay. I wouldn't think it's the best, but it could be the best, like I'm saying. That's why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. And that's not me being generous, that's being quite just reasonable. That's just what I think about the car. And for looks, it looks great. But that is it for today's video. Also, 
worth mentioning no there isn't any guns or anything on the car before anyone asks but yeah that is it for today's video guys if you did find this helpful or enjoyed this video make sure to like and if you're new to the channel subscribe it really does help out and also that lets me know if you want more videos like these but without further ado that is it for today's video goodbye